just landed in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm gonna go meet up with one of my good buddies, Hill Climb Racers, Andy Thomas. We're gonna go do some night riding. Andy's so busy he doesn't get to build his own sleds, he had to fly me in to do it. <laughs> but I'm gonna go break it in real nice for a few. I hear you're the best at building sleds, so. Yeah. I don't know how good you're gonna be at breaking it in. <laughs> Breaking it or breaking it in? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. You got a couple brothers coming out with you. What's the prediction? Um, if nothing's broken, I'll be surprised, but if it does get broke, it'll be like a really funny story. <laughs> Andy Thomas racing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Saxon's gonna come out. Tanner Thomas, Cole Thomas, Andy Thomas, it's gonna be a party on the snow and we're doing it in the dark. It's pretty epic out here. The snow's kinda just slightly falling. So I think it's gonna be a good time out on the snow regardless. And uh, we got a mass amount of horsepower in the trailer. Nine R's, 155 boost, and a whole lot of fun is about to go down. brothers Cole and Tanner. Three out of those, or two out of those Thomas boys got Jackson Hole World Championship titles. So tonight's gonna be interesting. Uh, I've been over the top of Jackson. It's gnarly. These guys just ride this gnarly stuff for fun. So I'm uh, I'm actually taking Andy's one of brand new Polaris 9Rs. It has 0 0.1 miles on it. So uh, for whatever reason, he's trusting me to break it in for him tonight. Do a beacon check real quick. I'm gonna put my beacon on to search and then I'll just come and check you guys out. Got him. Got him. Got him. Time to throw the headlamp on, boys. Gonna run the Mount Labs X1800 tonight. Uh, this video is actually brought to you by Mount Labs. Later tonight, I'll be putting my gear onto my new gear and boot dryer. But uh, for now, this headlamp is so my, my kind of go-to choice. Has four different modes, I believe, maybe even five. Um, and when it's not being used as a headlamp, it actually has a USB port in the bottom. And it does work as a charge block if you need to charge a device uh, while you're out sledding. So, gonna clip this on. Get in line behind the group and we're gonna go for a shred. Yeah, dude. Oh, so sick. Hey, because I made it up, does that make me a hill climber now? Yeah! <laughs>
<laughs> so good. It's like so cool to like ride fresh snow in the trees. It's like peaceful, you know? It's so peaceful and it just seems so much more gnarly because you can't see past the trees. Yeah. Anymore. And you can't tell exactly what's underneath of you. Yeah, exactly. You're like new zone <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, cool. Dude, you're shredding right now, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, rip skeezing, dude. Skeet wheezing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's do some shit. <laughs> down there and okay, probably right. like avoid that jill poke right there. Okay. That's... <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cal. Oh yeah, buddy. It's a little deep with the booster, huh? You oh, gotta yeah. keep that exhaust out of the snow. Yeah, she's bogging out a little bit. That's all right. Oh yeah, still blast. Woo! Good operation you got going on down there, Thomas boys. Coming towards you. I bet one. Okay. Falling uphill? That's new. <laughs>
like popped out of the air and landed as you exited. So sick. <laughs>
was sick. Was the whip good? The whip was yeah. hella dope, dude. Fuck yeah. You gonna hit her with some boost, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. See it. It's just another level sometimes. It's crazy how we all see things different, like different things out of different pillows. Right? Yeah. I was just saying that as I was rolling in, like we're all just kind of like picking this zone apart. We all have different mentalities to see and stuff. It's so cool. Yeah, for sure. Thank that, you for the 155 loaner, dude. Of course. Thing looks good flying yeah. through here. <laughs> it flies good, too. Well, my light died. Your light died? My light died. Oh, that's one down. Yeah. What were you it. saying about that whip? The biggest whip I've ever done. And he did it in the dark, dude. <laughs> dude, it's dark out here. There's like, it's snowing. The snow is so good, and Cole just throws the biggest whip he's ever thrown in his life. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> On a you know ride. why? Because you weren't scared. You couldn't even see anything. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling, Saxon? Good, buddy. You're looking bright as a light over there, dude. You're like glow in the dark. <laughs> 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 Tell us a scary story. That cornice. <laughs> <laughs> well, your headlamp's do, uh, dead, dude. So we can't really let you lead the way. But I think we're going to start working our way out. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We've had a solid rip session. Might have, maybe, you know, make this a tradition. You never know what's going to happen on the way out, either. Definitely okay. need to make this a tradition. Yeah. of our epic night adventure here with the Thomas brothers. Thank you so much to uh, Andy for getting me out on this 9R 155. I'm blown away and I cannot wait to get a 155 in my hands. And uh, man, just so much fun riding in the dark. Everything is just so much more epic. And uh, it was nothing but good times out here tonight. If you guys like this kind of content, drop me a comment, tell me what you liked about it. And uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one. Getting back from an epic night shred. And uh, man, thank you so much, Mountain Labs gear. We're gonna be able to get these things dried out. We're gonna be able to put my boots on there, my gloves on there. Set up the tower boot dryer from Mountain Lab. Got my gloves on there. Boots on in the back. It's got a little timer dial. Crank it up to 180 minutes. Make sure that heat's turned on. 
I'm gonna have dry boots and dry gloves. I'll be ready to ride tomorrow morning. Well, all the gear's hung. I'm tired, I'm bagged. What a night. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's video. Make sure you tune in again Sunday afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna be dropping a new one, actually resurrecting an old Snowcross sled of mine, 2002 Pro X. We've got that thing converted into a 136, dropped and rolled. It's got a 700 big bore, actually it's a 780 twin pipes on it. It just doesn't run that well. So we're gonna try and get it running. And uh, I got big aspirations to go over the top of Jackson with that this year. So once again, turn on that notifications bell. We'll see you in the next video, guys.